guys uh, in filaria survey right uh, that is bucheraria bancrofti all those filarial worms the helminths see so to diagnose lymphatic filariasis right one of them you have is zeno diagnosis Zeno diagnosis is because this uh, Culex mosquito will bite and give you lymphatic filariasis, right? So the mosquito, they will allow to feed on the patient. They will catch this, they will get this mosquito. They will dissect this mosquito after two weeks and they will detect uh, low density microfilaria. So you know the microfilaria will be there in the mosquito, right? What it will do in the malaria, it will, uh, in the mosquito, it will go in the egg sheath, right? In the stomach, then it will go to the thorax muscle. Right? You remember this? When the mosquito bites the man and uh, it excretes the microfilaria, then it will penetrate the stomach of the mosquito, it will go to the thorax muscle. There, first stage lava, second stage lava, third stage lava. So, two weeks after it bites this person, if you uh, dissect this mosquito, what will you get? You should get the larva of this area bancrofti. So, that is xenodiagnosis, another way of diagnosis of filaria. Okay? So guys, what and all comes under filarial survey, you have a blood survey. So you can check people's blood. You can do the DEC provocation test. So basically, you'll take the blood in the night, right? When the person is sleeping kind of a thing. Thick film you can make. You can check for um, microfilariae. Then you have membrane filter concentration method. Basically, if you have low density uh, filarial worms, right? Density of microfilaria is less. Then what you can do is you can concentrate the blood. So, this is the most sensitive they are saying. Then you have the DEC provocation test, which you already saw. You have to give 100 mg orally DEC so that the filaria will come to the blood, right, from the instead of the limb. And then you can uh, take the blood within 15 minutes. They are saying within 15 minutes you take the blood and then you can check for the microfilaria. Then you have the clinical survey. Uh, you are uh, checking for clinical manifestations, right, the pitting edema, non-pitting edema, etc. Right, then serological test, you can check for antibodies to the microfilaria, right. Uh, then you have the Xeno diagnosis. We told you, you cut the malaria, dissect it. Then entomological survey, again, same thing. Uh, so general mosquito collection you can do and you can detect, right? Basically, understand the Xeno diagnosis is a very generic term. It's not only to filaria that it applies, but in the textbook context, you can say Xeno diagnosis here for filaria. But otherwise, Xeno is what animal. You can do a lot of diagnosis on animals, isn't it? See, basically, presence of microorganisms or pathogens, right? Same thing, you'll examine the vector. So, it could be anything. It could be ticks or it could be your fleas or anything. It could be mosquito. It could be a lot of things. Just checking the animal because Xeno is what animal, isn't it? Xeno actually means of different origin, it seems. It's a foreigner. Okay. So, basically, it's a different species from the recipient. So, any species other than man, other than man you can remember. Okay. So, Xenograft, Xenodiagnosis, all these terminologies. You understood, right?